All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are going to be talking about, I guess this Hogwarts legacy situation again. I guess that's really the best way I can describe it. For some reason, this is still like a huge deal. People are still fighting about this. I mean, it's been going on for like a month and a half now. It feels like, man, it just, it feels like it, last year this whole thing started. I don't know, but obviously Hogwarts legacy has been quite the controversial release. Now, most people who have actually played the game have been absolutely loving it. They've been having a great time with it. They've enjoyed what they've gotten. But obviously, there's been a massive amount of controversy surrounding the game due to the Harry Potter theme of the entire game. If you didn't know, the original creator of Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling, has been basically deemed a transphobe by the internet and everything. Over the last few years, I don't really follow her or like pay attention to her, so I can't really quote anything she said or done verbatim. But basically, she's been making a bunch of tweets and public statements and whatnot over the years that have made people deem her to be a transphobe, right? She doesn't seem to support the trans community or really believe in transgenderism or anything like that. So obviously, in modern day internet terms, that's just not really acceptable, right? Now, if you had that kind of mentality, like, I don't know, 15 years ago, you probably would have had like the status quo opinion. But obviously, times have changed and trans acceptance has dramatically increased. I mean, even like from what I've been able to tell, like when I was a kid, that was kind of virtually unheard of it feels like but nowadays you know a lot more people are a lot more accepting of it even me personally like I really don't care as long as someone is not bothering me I really don't care what they do with themselves if you want to go do whatever you want to yourself that's up to you man you know it's really not my business I I'm not going to get into all that because that's not really why we're here that's not really what we're talking about I, I shouldn't have to sit here and explain to you my moral position on this considering the fact that it's been very consistent over years worth of videos that I've already made up until this point so unfortunately though another pretty big situation with the whole Hogwarts legacy boycott slash drama slash argument slash harassment campaign slash whatever you want to call it has kind of boiled up to the top here. So apparently a VTuber by the name of Silver Veil vale was playing Hogwarts legacy on stream and this led a bunch of people in this like anti Hogwarts legacy camp to end up going completely ballistic on this person and it led to them and all of their friends being doxxed and harassed for playing a Harry Potter video game, right? So apparently these people like doxed all her personal information, even went as far as to like find out who her friends were so they could dox her friends who were, by the way, completely, completely uninvolved in this situation to begin with. So yeah, this whole situation's a mess. Uh, there's about a minute long video clip we're gonna take a look at here. Then we're gonna come back and talk about it after that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and roll the video. <laughs> And harassment and doxing and people doxing my friends and like so much horrible vile things all from streaming a fucking video game it's just insane like hey it breeds hey and it doesn't help anyone and I don't know, I, I got to the point where I was, I was sick of seeing hatred all over and guilt tripping on random art tweets. It's literally like, they gang up on so many random tweets about Valentine's Day or art or automated posts. Like they, they wanna post so much negativity everywhere and I just got sick of it. So I block people because I just wanted breathing room. All right, obviously she is extremely beside herself, completely upset over this entire situation. And it's hard to, you know, say that she shouldn't be because I mean, if all these people online were like doxing you and digging through all your personal details and stuff, finding out who your friends are, harassing you and all your loved ones over you playing a fucking video game, obviously that's gonna create some issues for a lot of people, right? Like uh, who wants to deal with that type of shit? But this has now gone viral on social media and people People have been talking about it because obviously most people are going to be taking her side in this whole thing because I mean let's be real here doxing and harassing people and going out of your way to just be a fucking asshole like that is pretty much never acceptable like it doesn't matter what morally righteous cause you're trying to put behind it it doesn't matter you know what fucking belief you're putting behind it if you're going out of your way to like actually dox people and, and, and by the way it wasn't even like they just doxed the streamer which would have already been wrong in the first place they went as 
far as to dox people completely uninvolved in the situation and harass them too simply for being friends with somebody who played a video game that these people boycotted because they don't like the person who created it. Like, it's actually just fucking ludicrous, man. It's actually insane. Like, it was just a completely avoidable situation, man. Like, this did not need to happen. This did not need to happen, right? Just because somebody plays a fucking Harry Potter video game, man, doesn't mean they need to be fucking attacked and shit like that, bro. And it's funny because in the first video I made about this entire thing, right, where they were making websites that you could fucking look up what Twitch streamers were playing this game so people could basically commit targeted harassment, one of the big arguments against that was, oh, it's not actually for targeted harassment. It's really so you can just monitor and see who's been playing the game. And well, that's automatically been proven bullshit and invalid because the first thing that people ran to do when they found out that Twitch streamers like Silver Veil were playing the game and having fun with it was go to docs and harass them and fucking bully them. And of course now this has led to an even larger discussion around this entire topic. You know, you got people on one hand who are actually sticking up for the doxers and the harassers saying, well then don't play a transphobic game and this is what trans people deal with on the daily from cis people like you. And these arguments are all completely fucking moronic. Like there hasn't been one good argument brought up. I've seen four arguments actually I'm going to address here. Three or four, I, depending on, you know, how long this runs. But the first one, well, this is what trans people deal with on a daily basis. They get doxxed and harassed by assholes on the internet all the time. So we're just giving you a taste of your own medicine. So you're going after completely innocent people who haven't participated in any doxing and harassment, doing it to them and all of their families and friends over a video game, but yet you expect people to not do it to you back. It just, it doesn't make sense, man. Like, it's insane. It's like an eye for an eye argument that doesn't make any fucking sense, right? Because on one hand, they want to complain about how bad it is that trans people are harassed, doxxed, and whatnot. But then it's completely morally righteous to dox and harass cis people for playing a fucking video game, right? I think, like, the obvious take here is that doxing and harassing people regardless is just fucking wrong. Like, if you're really going around doxing and harassing people over their gender orientation, you need therapy. Like, let's just call it what it is. You need to get off the computer and get some fucking therapy. If you're going around harassing and doxing people because they're playing a video game you don't want to associate with, you need some therapy. You need to get the fuck off the computer and get some therapy. Like, it's just terminally online people. Let's just call it what it is. These people have no lives outside of the internet. They have no identity or power outside of the internet, so they feel the need to go around and attack and harass other people. Another argument I've seen is, well, if you're gonna support a game like that, then be ready for the consequences. It's a fucking video game, dum-dum. It's a video game. There should be no consequences that are life-threatening and mentally exhausting to deal with for playing a video game you didn't want to buy. If you don't want to play the game because you find it transphobic or whatever, I have no problem with that. You don't have to buy it. But you're not going to go around and police everybody else and tell them what they can and can't fucking play because you have a problem with it. You do not have that power. You do not have that, you know, that reach or whatever. That That is not your prerogative to decide for other people. And another argument I've seen, oh, well, if, if trans people... Uh, doxing and harassing the fuck out of these people online for playing a video game is enough to make them not like trans people, then they weren't a real ally to begin with. Uh, yeah, maybe that's not true, actually. Maybe they were allies to the trans movement. Maybe they did believe in the transgender community. Up until the point you started fucking doxing and harassing them and their entire friends and family over playing a video game. Like, that, dude, that's the dumbest argument I've seen so far. They weren't a real ally if they were getting mad about this. You know, if, they, if, if, if you know, turning against the trans community is a result of them getting doxxed and harassed, they weren't a real ally. I'm pretty sure any person that you just, like, basically make a fucking enemy out of and you, like, attack on a personal level repeatedly, I'm pretty sure they're eventually going to look at a movement like that and be like, huh, maybe I shouldn't support these people. And that's the real problem with all of this, right, is these people are not standing up for the trans community. They're not bettering the trans community. They're not helping trans people get out of, you know, bad situations in the real world. They're not progressing their movement. They're actually regressing it. They're making people online hate them more. They're making people who could potentially be allies, who could potentially actually support their community, enemies of their community because they're targeting them and attacking them and being fucking ludicrous and then they're complaining that these people become enemies and it doesn't make sense because like you know i know lots of trans people in real life you know i've supported trans rights for years you know and it just blows my mind that the this very small minority by might i add to this whole thing too it's not like this is just all these trans people online right it's like a couple hundred maybe a couple thousand people in the trans community and around the trans community that believe 
believe they speak for the trans community that are doing this to everybody else on behalf of the trans community. They do not have the best interest of trans people in mind. They do not have the best interests of the trans and LGBTQIA movements in mind. They're simply acting vindictive and being aggressive towards people online because they have nothing fucking better to do because it's the only thing in their life that gives them any semblance of power or control. They're out of control of everything else, you know? Most of these people, like I said, they're fucking terminally online. They don't have anything really going for them. This is it for them. This is what allows them to feel powerful. This is what allows them to feel like they've got something going. And the real victims in this entire thing are the trans community because the meanwhile, you know, you have trans people who are simply trying to live a normal routine life in the body that they're happy in right and their movement and message is being hijacked and ruined by these people online being fucking assholes you know attacking people overplaying a video game and stuff man and those are the people i really feel bad for in this situation because yeah you know the people who are switching and like starting to hate trans people over this, maybe there's not a lot of them or whatever, but it's more hatred towards their community that they don't really deserve on behalf of people who don't have their best interests in mind. So these people are now subject to being hated, harassed more, attacked more because a, a, as a countermeasure to what's already happened to them, right? It's kind of just sad. It's a really shitty situation. And like, I really feel bad for a lot of trans people because you'll see a lot of them online completely decrying this and saying that like the way that these people are acting over Hogwarts legacy is insane. But their voices, their trans voices are ultimately stepped out. They're ultimately completely shut out of the conversation by these terminally online criminals who are going around attacking people over a fucking couple pixels on a screen. I don't know like what this the idea is right like you're never going to make people accept your movement which by the way is the extreme minority of people in this world you are never going to make them accept your movement and accept you if you constantly make enemies out of them if you constantly you know fight hatred with even more vitriolic ridiculous hatred you're never going to make these people allies you're never going to make these people accept your community you're never going to make these people be on your side you're going to continue to instill the same beliefs that they have that make them think that you are the bad people that make them think that you are the wrong community how many times do we have to go through situations like this where, you know, a group of people will, you know, vilify and attack another group of people over something not that serious and then wonder why these people don't end up supporting them? I mean, even like with politics over the last few years, right, you had all these Democrats here in the U.S. saying if you were even a little bit to the right or like you were a little bit away from being a Democrat, you were a fucking bad person and you're a racist and you're a shitbag and, you know, they hate you. Then they wonder why you don't vote democrat or like in this instance you know you have people who are just simply playing a fucking video game that this group of people online deems to be wrong and then they attack the gamers for playing the fucking video game and then wonder why those gamers in result don't end up supporting the trans movement like it, it just makes absolutely no sense and then unfortunately for people like this you know they they have their whole friends and shit getting harassed their whole families over a video game and it should never be that serious if you want to stick up for the trans community so much and you want to fucking help build up and validate the trans community go outside go do something go participate in events and rallies and actually make sure that their voices are heard don't go around vilifying and attacking people on the fucking internet over their choice of video games these people aren't allies they're pirates they're hijackers they don't care about the trans community they care about vindicating themselves and putting themselves in a position of power so they can feel like they're in control Ultimately, that's the way I feel. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at SubtheOptimist. Make sure to check out Shoptimist down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus. Well, talking about Silver Veil getting doxxed and harassed over Hogwarts Legacy and signing out.